Seems like so far so good, but these rain chances kind of ramping up throughout the day. Yeah, huh? and mm -hmm. you're saying it. Most of it looks like it's n north of the Tennessee line. Yeah, right the there. chances are greater along and north of I-40. Yeah. There's a okay. chance here in Nashville, even a chance down towards Smyrna mm -hmm. and back over toward uh, Columbia. But it's greater as you head yeah. into northern Middle Tennessee and South Central Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And even then, not everybody will see it, but. Just stay weather aware because yeah. where yeah. they pop, one or two could be on the strong side. This is why you got to hang on to every one of Leland's words because <laughs> everything he says is so important because mm -hmm. I know there's some people, hey, well, Leland didn't tell me it's going to rain. You just said, eh, not yeah. everybody may see I, it. Yes, right? yes. Right. So, that's key right there. Not right. everybody will see yeah. it. Yeah. Similar story tomorrow. There could be a couple okay. of strong storms yeah. tomorrow, but again, at 20, 30% coverage, more people will be dry than yeah. necessarily see rain. Okay. All right. All right. And uh, wouldn't mind a little rain right yeah. now. Some of you, <laughs> if, you if, if you're like me, the yard drying out rather quickly. Uh, with the heat, uh, we're two inches below normal in rainfall for the month of May. Now, we're still running five inches above normal for the year, but we're two inches below normal for May. And you think about the fact that we've had some 90 degree heat this May. Let's show you what's happening right now. This is the setup. A couple of strong thunderstorms on the way for you today and again for tomorrow. Into the weekend, here comes a cold front. That front will bring in a shower and a storm threat. Our weather kid is ready for the day. This is Ellie Grace Castillo uh, spending her last few days as a first grader at East Robertson Elementary, showing 63 this morning and around the 90 degree mark later in the day. Our high this afternoon will push up to around 90 where should we be the norm is 81 I have to go back and look but we've had many days many more days above normal than at normal for the month of May the record 95 from 1962. High pressure over the area, but it's giving way. Uh, this boundary here will begin to lift north. That's some of that warmer moist air that comes in. So we'll watch the showers and storms move our way. This is going to weaken a little bit, but it's still going to have a punch to bring scattered showers and storms. The other thing it will do is it will leave boundaries behind. And in a way, you may think of it kind of like a little mini cold front. So the, the, the rain comes in, it gets some rain cooled air that gives you a little bit of a boundary. But even though the rain goes away, the boundary can remain and the models have a hard time trying to pick up where those mo those boundaries will drift. But where they do drift, that could be the focal point for showers and storms today and tomorrow. So right now within our area, not much or the storms pop. There could be some strong ones out there. Similar story again for you for tomorrow. So here's exact track. The, right now, it looks like the greater risk is along and north of I-40 for you today. What's out there dies down for tonight. Then tomorrow, a few more showers and storms developing. Again, a couple of those could be on the strong side. We make our way into Friday. Friday dry, but then more rain chances this weekend. So for today, 90 degrees. For tomorrow, we're 90. And then this weekend, 90 Saturday, here comes a cold front. Some of the storms Saturday afternoon, Saturday night could be strong. And then cooler by Sunday and Monday. Our weather artist today, Copeland Thorne, a third grader in Miss Mawson's classroom at Carroll Oakland School. Our school of the day, Decaturville Elementary, featuring Aiden and Matthew. Good morning to you.